How's it going, everybody? Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I actually saw a review of The Room yesterday. Really? I watched the Nostalgia Critic review. Have you watched the, the movie? Oh, hell no. I'm not watching the movie. No, dude. We gotta watch the movie. Oh, we'll watch the movie. We have to get a group of people, and I know that you are straight edge, <laughs> but we have to make sure that the other people are drunk oh, dude, yeah, or they, stoned or something. Yeah, they can be because... as drunk and hammered and stoned as they want. Because the first time I watched that movie, I was really drunk, and it was a life-changing experience. <laughs> Because I watched it with about 20, 30 other college students, and let me tell you, right away, it is sex, 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 sex. Before and I just felt left, man, because I thought it was, I thought I was watching a softcore <laughs> porno with a bunch of random college students. Before we go further into that, we're playing New Vegas, everybody. Yes. So we're jumping in. Um, I had three, two, but we figured since Sean's on a time limit today, we're just going to get things going and just go with the 1.5. 1.5. So, I already had New Vegas loaded in. I didn't have to transfer any data, so it was just, we're going to do New Vegas. And New Vegas doesn't even have any tie-ins, except little hints to the, the original yeah, Fallouts. Yeah. Three, I think the only thing they reference is three is that there's purified water now. I think they reference uh, like, the, the hmm? who the hell are they? The Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, the Brotherhood is yeah, in this. Yeah. But they don't, they're... They make references to just like the events like, oh, the Enclave for some reason moved on. Sorry for the long wait to all the DLCs here. But the Enclave is like, they, they say like, oh, the Enclave went east. Oh, there was a faction of the Brotherhood that is also in the east. We haven't heard from them in a while. All right, I'm going to overwrite your autosave. Is that cool? Yep, you can do that. I got saves galore already. Perfect. Oh, here we go, man. We're hitting new fucking Vegas. Yeah, New Vegas is one of my favorite Fallout games. I know you were saying three. Three. I have not played the originals. Yeah, I hear yeah, like same um, here. The uh, I do want to play them. Yeah. Because I know one of these characters is in some of the original Fallout's. Yeah. So um, three was the my first introduction yep. to the Fallout world. My first one too. And my first introduction to oh, God this damn. type oh. of game. Look at that's a beautiful looking oh, strip. Yeah. So. So yeah, the I've never played a game like Fallout before. I don't know what kind of game you consider it, like open world, whatever. Yeah, I, it's a lot of people draw. Oh, it's the Ranger, man! It's yep. the fucking Ranger. Oh, I love this opening. Yep. But um, yeah, this. I just forgot completely what we were talking about. We were uh, talking the, about the type of game. That um, well, you can good. say Skyrim. Yeah. But it's like, everyone says, oh, you know, Bethesda. Bethesda yeah. makes beautiful open world games. They're yeah. very good at it. And those are the type of games I love. I love replay value, so I could play this game, and it could be a completely different game the next oh, time. Oh, God, dude. It. We've and, got the uh, forces ever. Oh, it's fucking Benny. You, don't worry, everyone. Yeah. You'll learn his name very yep. soon. But, uh, yeah, I mean... When I first started playing 3, I had no clue what I was getting myself into. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize, like, oh, you know, you have this quest, and, like, if they're, you know, they're for a certain level. Mm -hmm. And, like, oh, you're level 1. Oh, guess what? My first thing when I got out of that vault, I went south. I went to... Oh, I went and did the DLC for the point lookout. <laughs> yeah, and I did all that you as a low-level character. Exactly. And at first I got stomped, but eventually I, s I made it through it and probably should have waited to do the that DLC. I don't know if that matters or not. So. The DLCs in, in these games... I don't know if like, they you like, gotta scale to your level or not. No, okay. oh no. I'm thinking of, uh, there, of other games if, where it scales to your level. If we so get to a DLC in this... too early, you fuck yourself. Oh, oh you, can, you can screw yourself easy in these. Um, there's gonna be a DLC in this one. Um, it's the it's it's the one based on an old timey horror uh, genre. Um, Mount something. There's a old time blues. Old time blues. Yeah, that one's gonna with uh, the brains and stuff. Yep, that, that one's one. gonna stomp you. The, that, yeah, that, the Robo Scorpions are a bitch. Yep. So that one is the only uh, DLC I've completed. I feel bad that we're we're I don't want to say skipping the plot because it's playing, but it's like yeah. Look, it's Fallout. The moment that we get our up and on our own legs and we get through the tutorial, first thing we're gonna do is start wandering around. Story's gonna yeah. be the last of our worries. Well, don't worry. We'll put subtitles on for everyone who wants to, because I'm gonna tune down the audio a bit once we start this. But really, all you need to know they're saying is, um, we're pretty much in the Midwest towards Nevada. 
Well, I'm, I'm yeah, not the Midwest, really. right? No, no. no. Okay, it's towards the west. west. It's between the Midwest no. and the West. Yeah, like nestled right, right below the Rocky Mountains. Pretty much what's going on. There's two factions that are dead set on killing each other. There's a bunch of mini factions everywhere else. And pretty much the only place that you could you don't want to call... Uh, it pretty much is a safe haven is New Vegas. Yeah. So that's the only place everyone's going where there's nothing going on. And that's falling right in the middle of this collision of these yeah. two forces. That's what it is. Now, like I said, sorry, it's not going into detail, but <laughs> you can see the the clips, and we'll put subtitles on soon. Now, like here we are. Okay, sorry, I said the bird. Now, <laughs> I think what I really like about New Vegas is the fact that you know if you piss off one faction, they hate you. Oh, and you can and, redeem them. Yeah, oh. and like, you know, it depends. Like, if you're wearing the wrong set of gear, oh, they'll, they'll kill hate you. you. Yeah. If you so, wear normal gear, you can disguise yourself in their gear. Yeah. So I was I was hoping for Fallout 4 to have some sort of these New Vegas features, mm -hmm. but I th it Sorry, seems like they wanted to make Fallout 4 a more like oh, playable shit. game for everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, dude. Here it comes. Oh, God. Anyone who's wondering, Benny, it's like, hey, you were delivering this chip, you were in the wrong place, wrong time, it's just business. Sorry, oh god, god, oh god, oh god, oh god, ah! Oh, that must have hurt. Anywho, now that we've been shot in the face... Here we go. That's literally the beginning of this adventure, you get shot in the face. Yep. Like... Shot in the head, I believe. Yeah, like, I think it's right. It's not right in the forehead, I know that. Because later on, they make references like, oh, you've been shot. Like, yeah. For some DLCs, that's the reason, like, some things, you're, like, the exception to some things is because when you got shot in the head, like, it messed with a certain part of your head that would, like, affect you in weird ways from yeah. things. But, like, in this one, it's pretty much, like, you're shot in the head because you're, ki you're, you're a courier. You're a mailman. Yep. There you go. That's... Don't shoot the messenger, right? That's literally... I guess that's, not. That's guess the not. biggest... That's probably the biggest message this game gives. Like, games have messages. This is probably the message. Don't yeah. shoot the messenger. You're awake. Oh, there we go. There are subtitles. I was going to be like, I know I have them on there. Whoa, easy. Oh, there. man. What's the percentage you think of being shot in the head and living? Uh, in this like, situation, I would say very, very low. In, like, real life where we live, uh, you know, now uh, that medical... Well, yeah. I, I medical like stuff is better, I'd say that. Yeah, All right. It's definitely what, are we, what are we naming him? Let's see here. I know him, uh, did I ever tell you what we named our character in, um... South Park Stick of Truth. No, you did not. Started. So, Sean was dead set on starting it up, and I'm like, dude, give me the controller. I'm going to make us a character and have yeah. him close his eyes. So, I'm going to see if you can get this hint better yeah. than he can, because there's a spray tan option. Yeah. So, there was the spray tan option. We gave him a little bit of a cleft chin. Um, he had a toupee setting for hair. Who is it? Uh, is that... D, D. Trump? The God, you got it, and Sean couldn't figure it out when it was right, right in funny. front of him. But um, we could. I didn't like one of the ro rules we have here. Yeah, rules. That's a weird one. One of the rules, and you know, I've said this before, and all that, and all that. Liam, Liam. Edwards is gonna be his name. He's gonna be a fancy motherfucker. Yo, there's only one way you can make him fancier. Go all the way back to the very beginning of it all. Don't erase it, but just bring the cursor all the way to the front. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Yep, just start going all the way over. Man, I'm just effing up. How do I move the cursor? Well, uh, left. The left button, not trigger. Left bum thingy. There we there. go. If you're going to make him fancy, give him one more L. He needs two L's if this is a fancy right. son bitch. i got to get back to... Oh, uh, left the... trigger for alphabet. Man. It's been I know. so long since I've played 360. I, I, I spend one, my so... days just doing 360 constantly because I'm cleaning up older games. But um, anyway, back to the the name of our, our character. So, you know, one of the rules we ha I have here, you know, when we're doing this one, the rules we all agreed to when we set in place, you know, no politics unless it's... <laughs> yes. <There you> go. <laughs> Liam Edwards III. Oh, I love it. Um, one of the rules we have is, you, can't say it. Um, you know, okay. no politics. Your name. You know, not bringing up religion or anything like mentioning this stuff ain't a, be a big thing. Like, yeah. You know, during our raw video, we were talking about just the complete insanity of what's his name. I take pride in my name. Um, wrestler. He was against Chobani yogurt. 
Oh, uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones, like, you know, we're not even making fun of him politically-wise. Hey. He's just a crazy son of a yeah. bitch. He's I, just insane. I also think that he uh, is he's really well at playing a, the character I don't, that I, he plays. I think he's just blurred the lines now. Yeah, so I think at first he was just playing a character, and then... Do you automatically have a giant forehead and a double chin? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see these presets here. I know I always customize my... Oh, yeah. oh my god, that's amazing. I know I always make my own, and I try and make them look like myself when I do these. Yeah. But that's just because I like to immerse myself, and I'm just playing a game for shits and giggles. I don't care what it looks like. It's custom. Um, but yeah, so, you know, no religion, no politics, you know, no extremely bad language. Yeah. Unless, like, no yeah. no racial language. I don't even care about any of that. Like, I, I think I was... I want to give him a nice mustache. Oh, yeah. I think I was talking to Sean about it. We're just like, you know... Can I say that? Random, yeah. I'll just, I'll just pick a random one. Just keep going until we get. Let's a good see what point. we got. Oh my gosh, he, he keeps uh, having the. Okay, he had a normal chin there. So. Jeez, he's a Martian. So maybe what I have to do is go back and put it on the face with a beard, or something. I can't believe even with the Caucasian choice, he keeps coming out as different colors. I know. Um. So yeah. So there with all go. those rules in place for South Park, I was like, okay, we can't just blatantly name him Donald Trump. Yeah. Because with all the stuff, you know, because Sean in the game, um. He, he likes to deny. He likes to beat all the chicks in the game. Yeah. Just beat them up. So, I was like, luckily I did this beforehand, but like, we can't just pick Donald Trump when he's going to be called a douchebag and just, you know, hunk at shit, hunking shit at people. Yeah. I'm like, okay, we can't just do that. I have to play this correctly because I'm not taking sides in anything. His name is D. Trumples. <laughs> D. Trumples. Um... So whenever Sean does say I'm, he's like, I think we've already been offensive enough to politics. So I'm like, dude, it's like, you really think so? We have a character named D. Trumples who's going around beating women <laughs> and hunking <laughs> shit at people. Oh, I'm very man. sure, like, we've tried not to cross the line, but we crossed it a while ago. Steel, there you go. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But, you know, other than that, you know, you know, we just keep the rule of, you know, no politics. And I even told him, the next game we ever do where we make a new character... I, I'll, I'll name him Barry Obamas. <laughs> Barry Obamas will be his name. Barry Obamas. So I made him that promise, Barry Obamas. Well, I got most of it right. Oh, man. Uh, I think I could have uh, switched some okay. other stuff. But I, don't know. I think we barely ever see his face. Yeah. If you put a helmet on, you'll yep. be good. Let's see. Let's see if he can get you on your feet. All right. So if we have a chance to walk, I think we'll call it an episode. If we have a chance for this guy to shut up for a moment. Uh, bigger tester machine. So, let's see here. So, I think we're... Okay, take it slow. Let's, uh, I think we can get out of this room. Okay, and I think right it, here... Call it good, yeah? We can, we'll can. we call it good right here so we can get to the bigger tester next episode. Okay. All right, because he's going to be waiting right next to it until we go over there. So, uh, I don't know. How long do you think you wish we'd be going with this one? I, I'm cool going as long as we want. Yeah, I'm cool too. I'm taking that. I can't believe the doctor bag is free. I know, but I can't sleep in his bed. What the hell? He can steal his medical equipment, but... I can take everything here. <laughs> That's what I did the first time I played yeah. through. You might all right. right. Oh, and see, I'm, I wanted to take that desk fan because of Fallout 4, because, you know... You can take the desk fans? I, I know that I need the screw for Fallout 4. I have never played Fallout 4, so oh, I don't know what's So, yeah, is. you can, like, grab fans and stuff, and then you can take them apart and get all the materials. Really? And, yeah. Holy shit. Anyway, um... Boom. You're going to need that book later. Yeah. Anyway, we'll call it good here, and, um... Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. See ya.